Welcome to the ultimate tour of the Seascape, the newest MSC Mega ship currently sailing out of the USA. At over 1,100 feet long and holding up to 7,500 people, this one year old ship is also one of MSC's largest. And with 11 restaurants, 18 bars and lounges, five pools, and a massive 1,200 seat theater, you sure won't run out of things to do on this ship. But due to its size and slightly confusing layout, you may have a hard time finding everything. And that's why we're here to show you around. Good morning, I'm Jamie and Skylar is behind the camera. Today we are taking you on a tour of the MSC Seascape. Now, unlike our prior tours of the Maravilla and the Seaside, this one truly is going to be a full tour because we are gonna to get to show you the Yacht Club. But you're gonna to have to stick around to the end of this video to see that exclusive area at the top of the ship because we're gonna start this tour down on deck five and work our way up. Now there isn't much to see on decks four and below, which is why we're starting here on deck five, where you're gonna find one of the main dining rooms, guest services, and a variety of other things, which we're gonna show you now. If you're like me and frequently lose your ship card while cruising, you may wanna visit the hub on deck five because here you can actually get a wristband that stays attached to your body throughout the cruise and basically functions as your ship card. The hub is also where you can purchase cameras and GoPros to take your own videos and photos and where you can purchase photos of yourself that have been taken by MSC staff photographers. Right next to the hub is where you can learn about and support the MSC foundation. It's also where you'll find the Vanini glass sea sculpture, which spans nearly 40 feet upwards across three different decks. As you make your way through the Deck 5 immersive gallery towards the rear of the ship, you'll soon reach the lowest level of the atrium, which extends all the way up to Deck 8. But it's here on Deck 5 that you'll find the Seascape Bar, Guest Services, the Future Cruise Desk, and the lowest level of the famous Swarovski Crystal Staircase. On the other side of the atrium at the back of Deck 5, you'll find the largest of five main dining rooms on the Seascape at the Green Wave Restaurant which is open daily for breakfast and dinner, as well as certain days for lunch. One floor up on deck six, you'll find another dining room, the second level of the atrium, the Times Square area with a bunch of shopping and chocolate, as well as the lowest level of the theater. Towards the rear of deck six is where you'll find Cala Jondal, the second largest of the main dining rooms on the seascape. We should mention that your dining room is assigned to you based on your booking prior to your cruise. And while three of the main dining rooms are reserved for standard level guests, two of the dining rooms are reserved for guests who book a higher level of experience, which we'll discuss more later. Just a few short steps from Cala Jondal in the sixth floor atrium area is where you'll find the Shine Bar, one of many great spots to put that drink package to use. Right next to the Shine Bar, those who are looking for some adventure can find just that at the excursions desk. Just past the excursions desk, near the middle of deck six, is where you'll find one of my favorite spots on MSC ships, Venchi Chocolate Bar. We actually got to sample several different Vinci chocolates during our week of cruising in the MSC Yacht Club, which is just one of the many additional perks of sailing in the Yacht Club, all of which we'll be sharing with you in our next MSC episode. Just a few steps from Benchy, guests will find the New York themed Times Square Lounge, a top spot to play some trivia during the day or to catch some live music at night. Those who love to shop will find five great options surrounding Times Square. These options include the accessory store, the perfume and cosmetics store, Time Valley, the duty free store, and the boutique. If you pass by the shops and make your way all the way to the front of deck six, you'll find the lower level of the Cora Theater. This massive entertainment venue seats nearly 1,200 people and hosts a wide variety of shows in the evenings, such as Love Blooms, which I found to be very entertaining. Up on deck seven is the second level of the theater, the casino, the third level of the atrium, as well as a couple more dining rooms and the cabaret. Right off of the entrance to the theater, gamblers will find their spot at the MSC Signature Casino. We found this to be one of the most aesthetically pleasing casinos on any cruise ship, and the casino bar was quite appealing as well. If you're enjoying this ship tour so far and don't want to miss our future MSD Seascape episode, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Just off of the casino, cruisers will find the Champagne Bar, one of our favorite spots to grab a drink, enjoy a performance in the atrium down below, or to marvel at those beautiful Swarovski crystal staircases. Right next to the Champagne Bar, you'll find more shopping at the Watches and Sunglasses Shop, and just a few steps from there, you'll find the third of five main dining rooms at the Aegean Restaurant. 
A bit further back on deck 7 is the Boulevard du Cabaret, where you'll find another of our favorite spots on the ship in this glass walkway, which was lit up in bright colors each night. Just steps from the glass walkway, you can find another amazing photo op in this hot air balloon. Just off the Boulevard du Cabaret, guests will find the Skyline Restaurant, which is assigned to those who book an Area level cruise package. We'll show you another area that's only accessible to Area and Yacht Club guests later in this video, but first, we have one more spot to show you on Deck 7. Here at the very back of the seascape is where you'll find Le Cabaret Rouge, a massive lounge and entertainment space with seating for 400. Not only is this a great spot to grab a drink and watch some live music, but also to catch a performance. But by far our favorite part of Le Cabaret Rouge was the parties, as both the Glow Party and Silent Disco were extremely popular and so much fun. With decks 5 through 7 down, it's time to head up to deck 8. As you can see, Deck 8 has a lot going on. This is where you're gonna find the specialty restaurants, more bars, more shopping, the spa, the gym, two infinity bridges, an infinity pool, and something that's not even identified on the map. And we're gonna show that to you. Our tour of Deck 8 begins towards the rear of the ship where you'll find four restaurants, a wine cellar, and one of our favorite spots to grab a glass of champagne or a cocktail. In fact, it's here that you can find over 50 different cocktails to choose from, many of which are only offered at this particular bar. And while the cocktail bar is located within Chef's Court along with the Fora Fee restaurants, your drink packages will work here. The first of the four Chef's Court's restaurants is Kaido Teppanyaki, located right next to the cocktail bar. We found this restaurant to include eight different hibachi grills with seating for 64. And just like the other Chef's Court restaurants, it does book up quickly. Right around the corner from Teppanyaki is where you'll find Kaido Sushi Bar, the only sushi bar on the sea that we've come across where you can select your sushi off of a conveyor belt. Kaido did offer an all-you-can-eat option on day two of our cruise, which we probably would have booked if we hadn't been staying in the Yacht Club. Right next door to Kaido Sushi, seafood lovers will find their spot at Ocean K Restaurant. This specialty seafood restaurant offers an elegant setting, a good selection of wine, and seating for 62. We still have another Chef's Court restaurant and a wine cellar to show you, but first, we've got a few spots to take you to at the very back of Deck 8. The first of those spots is the Uptown Lounge, which we found to typically be empty during the day, but to really come alive at night. We found this venue to host live music and dancing on most evenings, and if you're more of a performer than a spectator but would rather sing than dance, this is where you can also often find karaoke. Just outside of the Uptown Lounge, parents can find their peace at this adults-only section of the ship. It's here that you'll find Vinci Gelato, the Infinity Bar, and the only all-adults infinity pool on the ship. And due to the lack of kids and its wonderful location at the very back of the ship, this was a popular spot to take in the views during the day and to enjoy a cocktail with a sunset at night. If you're still enjoying this ship tour, be sure to check out our other MSC ship tours after this one. The very back of Deck 8 is where you can also find our favorite elevator on the ship, and with its all-glass exterior and these gorgeous views, you may find yourself riding up and down just for the fun of it. Back inside at the Chef's Court restaurants, you'll find the spot for meat lovers at the Butcher's Cut. Seating up to 118 people, this is the largest of the five specialty restaurants on the ship, and also offers outdoor dining with a view. Right next to the Butcher's Cut, wine enthusiasts will find their spot at the Wine Cellar, which is often host to wine tasting events and is also where you can purchase wine by the bottle. Next to the Wine Cellar is where you'll find our final specialty restaurant at Ola Tacos and Cantina, your spot on the ship for Mexican-inspired dishes and, of course, margaritas. Right next to Ola, you'll find the MSC Shop, the place to grab all of your MSC gear and souvenirs. And if you enjoy shopping at the ports, you won't want to miss the port shopping desk right next door. Just outside on Deck 8 is where you'll find two glass-floored infinity bridges, which offer a great way to overcome your fear of heights, along with some of the very best views on the entire ship.
Back inside, as you make your way towards the center of the ship, you'll pass by a couple different fine jewelry shops, where it's always fun to browse, even if you're not in the market. It's here in the middle of Decade that you'll also find the top level of the Vanini glass sea sculpture, which extends down to Deck 5 below. On each side of the sculpture, you'll find a bar, the first of which is the sports bar, which has the most TVs and best beer selection of any bar on the ship. It also has casino games, outdoor seating, a food menu, and private booths to watch your favorite team. On the other side of the sea sculpture, you'll find the Loft Cafe, which we absolutely love for its unique decor and retro vibes. This was one of our favorite spots on the ship to relax, grab a delicious espresso drink, and check in with family and friends. The Loft Cafe does also offer a stage with live music in the evenings, and if you go outside through the door at the right of the stage, you'll find something that many guests on the seascape don't even know about. Now this is one of those areas that is not identified on the maps. There are one of these pools on either side of the ship, outside of the Loft Cafe and also the Sports Bar. We were able to watch Sunset in one of these the other night, and we're going to show you footage from that right now. Back inside towards the front of Deck 8 is where you'll find the Barber Shop, the Business Center, the MSC Gym, and the MSC Orea Spa. And while visiting the spa comes with an extra charge for most, those who book in the Yacht Club will have complimentary access to the thermal area, which we'll give you a peek at now, and we'll show you much more of in our Yacht Club episode. Right next to the spa, you'll find the MSC Gym, which happened to be one of the busiest gyms we'd ever seen on a cruise ship. But despite its popularity, we could always find an open machine and plenty of Caribbean views for everyone. We also loved that many of the machines had wireless phone chargers and that the yoga room was quite empty on our visits. We left off, we were at the front of the ship on deck eight in the spa. We have skipped decks nine through 15 because those are staterooms only. We are now on deck 16 at the very back of the ship on the bridge of size. On this deck, you're also gonna find the marketplace buffet, pools, and of course, more bars. Now, before we show you the upper decks of the ship, we wanna mention that we do normally stay in a standard level of stateroom in decks nine through 15. And if you'd like to see what a standard interior or balcony stateroom looks like on a couple of other newer MSC mega ships, then be sure to check out our Seaside and Miravia ship tours after this one. Our tour of Deck 16 starts at the very back of the ship, where you'll find the Bridge of Size, another glass floor bridge that overlooks the Deck 8 Infinity Pool below. And like the Infinity Bridges on the sides of Deck 8, the Bridge of Size offers some fantastic views and is perhaps the most popular spot on the ship to watch sail away. And right next to the Bridge of Size, you'll find the bar with possibly the best views on the seascape at the Sky Bar. Just steps from the Sky Bar is where you'll find the Marketplace Buffet. This is where the majority of Seascape cruisers will line up for breakfast and lunch, and as a result, it does get quite crowded. You can also eat dinner at this buffet, but because the majority of cruisers eat in their assigned dining room at night, we found the Marketplace Buffet to be much less busy for dinner. Just like our prior MSC cruises, we found the buffet on the Seascape to be the least busy near the far back of the ship, while still offering the majority of the food items that you can find in the busier parts of the buffet. While we show you footage from each of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffets, we do want to talk about our buffet experience on the Seascape and other MSC megaships. We found the overall quality of the breakfast buffet to be pretty good, although not quite on the level of more expensive cruise lines like Celebrity. Both the quality of the bacon and sausage were decent, but we really enjoyed the fruit and fresh bread, as well as the quiche and eggs Florentine. The buffet also had a variety of pancakes, plus waffles and french toast, both of which were good but not great. While the lunch buffet was probably the least impressive of the three, we still had no problem finding some items that we really enjoyed, including the breads, pastas, cold cuts and cheeses, fruits, shredded chicken, and of course, that amazing MSC pizza. 
The dinner buffet offers many of the same options as the lunch buffet, and the food is of similar quality. But what made the dinner buffet much more enjoyable than the lunch buffet for us was the lack of crowds, plus what was easily the best corn dog Skylar has ever eaten on a cruise ship. Within the Marketplace buffet, you'll find the Marketplace bar. But one thing that we really loved about this ship is that you never actually had to go to the bar to get a drink in the buffet, as you could just hit this button and a waiter would show up to take your drink order. If you exit the buffet and head towards the front of the ship, you'll reach the bottom level of the Jungle Pool Lounge, which has a bar with our favorite fresh squeezed orange juice, a gelato bar, several hot tubs, and an all-weather pool with a retractable rooftop. If you walk a little further towards the front of the ship, you'll reach the lowest level of the Yacht Club. Now we have reached the front of the ship on deck 16. Normally this is the area where our cruise cards no longer work because as you can see from this map here, this whole area up here is reserved for Yacht Club guests. Now we will be able to show you that area because this is the first time ever that we actually booked in the Yacht Club, but before we do that, we are gonna finish touring the rest of the ship. One floor up on deck 18, you'll find more of the Yacht Club, the second floor of the Jungle Pool Lounge, and several different kids clubs. Towards the front of the ship on deck 18 is where you'll find the second floor of the Jungle Pool Lounge, which offers some great views, comfortable seating, and a bunch of table games including pool, shuffleboard, foosball, and table tennis. Right off the second story of the Jungle Pool Lounge is where you'll find Do Rainy Land, which includes five kids clubs for five different age ranges. Just a few steps from Do Rainy Land, you'll find another favorite spot among kids at the Hall of Games. Although neither of us are much into gaming, we do have to admit that this spot was pretty cool. We found it to offer a few of your more traditional arcade games, as well as several high-tech virtual reality-based games to choose from. Right off of the Hall of Games is the lower level of the Pirate's Cove Water Park, one of the more impressive water parks we've seen on a cruise ship and another great spot for kids. But adults can absolutely have fun at this water park too, as both Skylar and I had a blast going down the water slides, and we'll show you that experience once we get up to Deck 19. But first, we still got the main pool area on Deck 18 to show ya. Known as the Marina Pool, we found the main pool to be a bit on the smaller side, and as a result, it often felt a bit crowded, even on a port day like this one. And while we may not have been overly impressed with this pool, we still enjoy dropping by the Marina Bar where you can grab a drink or a gelato. The Marina Pool Deck is also where you can often find a party at night, such as this white party which had an amazing turnout and was a lot of fun. Up another flight of stairs brings us to Deck 19, where towards the rear of the ship you'll find another of our favorite spots to grab a drink and take in the views at the Horizon Bar. This is also a spot on the ship where we found fresh squeezed orange juice, and if you happen to be visiting when Nicholas is bartending, be sure to try his very own special drink, the Nicholas Cocktail. Nicholas Cocktail? Yeah! While you enjoy a Nicholas cocktail or two, the kids can hit the water slides, which can be found just a few steps away towards the rear of Deck 19. The seascape features four larger water slides, including two dueling aqua tube slides, a larger tube slide known as the Aqua Dream, and a smaller, slower slide. And while we could go on about how much fun these slides were, we'll let the footage speak for itself. But first, we had to sign a waiver and get our wristbands. What do you think? Ah! 
<laughs> In addition to the horizon bar, the water slides, and some great views, you can also find a couple of hot tubs towards the rear of Deck 19 that anyone can access. The front of Deck 19, however, is off limits to most. Towards the front of the ship on Deck 19, there is an area called Top 19 that can only be accessed by Orea guests and Yacht Club guests. We are going to show it to you, but when we are doing our Yacht Club tour. But first, we've got one more deck to take you to out here. While you won't find a whole lot clear up on Deck 20, it's definitely still worth checking out for the views alone. It's here on the very top deck that you can also find a series of rope bridges, the MSC Sports Arena, and the Robotron, the first robotic arm ride at sea. And while we decided not to ride the Robotron ourselves, we did watch a few others give it a try, and they all really seemed to enjoy it. Now that you've seen what the Seascape has to offer, for those who book a standard class of stateroom, it's time to show you inside some of those spaces that are off limits to the vast majority of the Seascape cruisers, and we'll start it off on deck 16 towards the front of the ship. If you pass by the Yacht Club concierge desk and continue forward to the very front of the ship, you'll find what in our opinion is the best lounge on the Seascape. It's here at the Top Sail Lounge that you'll find expertly crafted cocktails with top shelf liquors, panoramic views from both inside and out, nightly live music, and more of those beautiful Swarovski stairs. We'll tell you more about why we love this lounge in our Yacht Club video, but for now, we're going to show you what you can find just one floor up. At the top of this flight of crystal stairs is where you'll find the Top Sail Restaurant, the fifth of the five main dining rooms on the Seascape. And while the other four main dining rooms all have the same menu, the Top Sail Restaurant has its very own and offers more upscale complimentary options such as filet mignon every night. We'll compare our Top Sail Restaurant experience to the standard MSC dining experience in our next MSC video. But until then, we've still got two more decks of restricted access spaces to show you. Now before we show you the last two floors here in the Yacht Club, we do want to stop by and give you a sneak peek of our room. And here is our Yacht Club suite. Now we are gonna give you a full tour in our Yacht Club episode, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss that one, but we only have a little bit of daylight left and we still wanna take you to decks 19 and 20. Now you will notice, just like on the other MSC ships, that there is not a deck 17 because 17 is unlucky in Italy. Now through this door is the top 19 area that we were talking about earlier. That is for Araya guests, but Yacht Club can also access it. We found the top 19 area to offer lots of relaxing outdoor space, including its own hot tub, plenty of comfortable seating, and its own bar, which during our visit, we had entirely to ourselves. Okay. Unless you play, so you know what she is. What do you call it? Poison? Poison. Poison. <laughs> Skyler's having some? Poseidon. 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 All right, Skyler's Skyler. Skyler. trying Poseidon, not poison. Poseidon. Yeah, very good. Nope, nope. What flavors do you taste? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> you gotta come to a top 19 and ask for Poseidon. Yes. Now that you've seen the top 19 sun deck, it's time to show you the Yacht Club sun deck. It's so peaceful. And while peace and quiet can often be hard to come by on a cruise ship, the 20th deck in the Yacht Club has it in abundance and was always our go-to spot for some relaxation, especially during sunset. In fact, there were even times when we had the massive Yacht Club jacuzzi and even the entire Yacht Club pool all to ourselves. The Yacht Club also has its very own outdoor bar and grill where you'll find the strongest bartender and some of the best food on the entire ship. Want to see a whole lot more of our experience spending a week in MSC's Yacht Club, including an in-depth look into the food, room, amenities, and even a restricted section of MSC's private island? Then be sure to click on this video next. Thanks for watching!